Hello everybody, CashBellner.com here with a guide to getting free Xbox Live Gold and Xbox Game Pass through Microsoft Rewards. Now Microsoft Rewards, not something new, it's been around for a while, it used to be called Bing Rewards. So, very simple, Microsoft gives you points for using Bing Search to use to redeem for things like gift cards to Starbucks, GameStop, but the most lucrative or i should say the most bang for your buck would be getting free xbox live gold and xbox game pass through the through microsoft rewards as this has the highest dollar per point i guess you could say i've been doing it for a couple of years myself i have not paid for xbox live gold for a long time uh i used to get it for free because i used to work in retail but now i use microsoft rewards to get it for free because paying to play online does suck i'll uh, we'll get into that in a different video i suppose but getting it for free makes it a bit more bearable, right? So let's get to it. First of all, you have to sign up for your own account. Once, very easy, just look up Microsoft Rewards. You can do it through Bing Search yourself. Uh, once you sign up for it, you will sign up as a level one. There are only two levels, so <laughs> it's not very complicated there. Uh, as a level one user, you earn five points per Bing Search, up to 50 points per day. Uh, level one sucks you have to get out of it as soon as possible so you have to make sure you get your 50 points per day you also get points for exploring offers from microsoft rewards i'll show examples of that later on in the video once you get to 500 points in a month you reach level two where it's what i've been at for a couple of years and to stay at level two you have to earn 500 points per month which is very easy but the important thing is that you go up for a maximum of 250 points per day from 50 points per day which is absolutely necessary if you're going to be if you want to be able to get your xbox live gold at least once every year free and depending on how diligent you are you can also get a couple of months of game pass it used to be a year but now it's a couple of months same thing uh, you get 10 percent off when redeeming rewards from microsoft brands so redeeming a year of Xbox Live Gold, for instance, costs 10% less if you're at level 2, although I don't know how the heck you would even get to it if you're level 1, but that's another story. So that being said, let's show off some examples. So here is the Bing homepage. Different background every, every day, usually a very pretty one. Down here at the bottom, you'll see whatever is trending news, or sorry, whatever Bing considers trending news. <laughs> And here on the left is local news, depending on where you live. So, like I said earlier, each search is five points. You can get a maximum of 150 points on a desktop and 100 points on your mobile phone, Android or iOS, if you use the Bing app. So, let's look at how quickly this can get, yeah? Let's see. So, there's some panel. So, there we go. That right there was five points. You don't have to click on the actual article itself. You can just click on any of these quick little links and then you'll get credit for a search. So for instance, right there, see when up to 3554. Uh, I've tried to time it to see how long you have to wait between clicks. I try to wait it usually, I mean, this last time was about 15 seconds tops. I would say at least 15, 30 seconds. You can just click one, like you can just basically click 30 times in like a minute time frame and hope to get your maximum points per day, that will work. But if you wait a little while, click again, boom, another five points. Now the other thing that I like to do is that you go on here and you do your search. Granted when searching with Bing might not be as you would say good as searching through Google as my wife tells me when we're out and about and I'm searching through Bing, she says I'm searching like a pilgrim, but I get paid for it, so that's different. So here's a couple of things that I've looked up recently. So granted, do I know what the URL is? Of course I do, but it saves a little bit of time, wink, wink, to look through it through Bing search versus just typing it up here. And look, another five points. Yeah, so that's a good way of getting it throughout the day. I'd say the desktop one is the easiest one to maintain consistently just because you're going to be using your computer a lot throughout the day. 
And getting 150 points every day is very easily done. I've done it for so many days, but I'm not going to say it's something that is guaranteed. I know how life is. I'm not going to tell you I do it on the weekends because I don't. I'm not going to pull out my desktop while I have to you know, have errands to run, life, and time with my wife, etc. But Monday through Friday, especially if you have an office job, because look, that's your pretty wallpaper. No one's going to say anything to you. You're going to walk by your desk if you have a cubicle and, and say, yeah, nice wallpaper. And you're like, yep, yes it is. So another way to make extra points is by doing their daily offers, which I mentioned earlier, those are available to level one and level two. So you click up here, the little metal. Yeah. Click here, search all offers. Now the important thing here is this right here, the daily set. So this is something fairly new. If you do this daily set every day, for a certain amount of days, you'll get a point bonus. So at the beginning, it's three days. And you get, I believe it was either 15 or 20 points. Do it once more and you get the same. And then you go to a five-day a five day streak. You do the five-day streak twice and you get 75 points. Sorry, my apologies. The first three-day streak is 30 points. At least 30 points because the five-day streak was 75 points. Now I got to the point where I've done it for 13 days. And if I keep it going seven more days, it's 105 points. This is crucial if you want to get up there really quick. So let me show you how easy it is. So I click here, go fly kite. Just usually set of videos, set of images. All right, that's that's nice. Close it. And give it a little bit. Boom, there's a credit. Hey, Stitch Wars. Like, Something about Star Wars. I haven't even seen the hand solo trailer yet. All right, close that out. That's 10 more points. I click here. Warp Speed Quiz. Now I'll ask you, every day you get a quiz between three and five questions. I don't, that's definitely wrong. <laughs> I usually just blind guess because it's just easier that way for me. I've done it for years this way, BTW. So it's not like they're looking for the guy who's just guessing. They're clicking this quickly, I should say, because eh, how would they even know? Good luck accusing anybody of that, because what if you just don't know anything? So you just keep going. Every once in a while, be something interesting. Ah, a pendant rights. Ah, I actually knew the. I used to work with a guy who was related to Mr. Fisher, who made the space pen. All right, so there we go. That's all three. That's done. Now that won't show until I hit refresh here. Boom, 14 day current streak, six more days to 105 points. So that's exciting. I thought I was going to end a 75 point bonus every five days, but 105 bonus every seven days is awesome. Over a seven day period, that equates to about, fifth, about 15 extra points per day. Now, this all is not that much, but it just adds up over time. And that's very important because, as I will show here below, there's always other ones too, by the way. Like, oh look, I, yeah, I'm not doing that. So the prizes, for instance, 12 months of Xbox Live Gold is 21,000 points. Game Pass, I used to have a year for two. They had one last year and I'll show you. I'll show you a proof of that. But right now the most you can get for Game Pass is three months for 17,000 points. Now, 21,000 points for 12 months of Xbox Live Gold does sound like a lot and it is. It takes a while. But if you do this consistently, your 150 point maximum on your desktop search, I'd say Monday through Friday, it's probably a reasonable expectation. That alone is 750 points just from the searches. Now you add 
these little things right here, it's usually three questions. So I'm not going to just assume that it, you know, it's you're going to get 50 points here. So that's 10, 10, 30, that's 50. Okay, 50 per day. So you're up to 200 per day now. Right, it's 1,000 Monday through Friday. Keep this trick going. Now, this is the only thing I do on the weekends on my desktop, by the way. I go into Bing and I do this. As you saw, it took me like a minute and a half. But otherwise, I really don't use Bing search on the weekends because I try not to use my desktop computer. It's it's me time and us time with my wife. So if you just do that frequently, so let's do the math there. That's a thousand points just from Monday through Friday, plus your hundred and five points every seven days that you're getting from doing the streak, plus technically another hundred from the weekend. That's 1105, 1205 points per week. Now, you're probably saying, well, I need 21,000 points. Damn it. Well, like I said, it does take a while. But just as you can see here, I've earned 1715 points this month. It's currently the 8th of the month. Yeah, the 8th of the month. So I got a ways to go to redeem my next one, but it just takes time. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather do this than pay 60 bucks. Well, realistically, cash bonus, never pay retail. You can find Xbox Live Gold on sale for 40 bucks for a year, multiple times throughout the year, but I'd rather not pay that and use that to buy games. So, here's my order history. Got 12 months of Xbox Live Gold on the 26th. Free sweepstakes entry for a service book, you probably will not win. Here, 12 months of Game Pass. Ugh, I'm so glad I got that back then. So that's why I'll actually be playing Sea of Thieves when it comes out. But right here again, 12 months of Xbox Live Gold. 12 months of Xbox Live Gold. If you can see, it's a little bit more than five months. Back here is when I still got <laughs> my free Xbox Live. So I should have, I really should have. Yeah, I really should have been stacking it since back then. Look, I've been using this crap since 2014. But about every six months, depending on how diligent you are, like if you do both the desktop and, and the mobile. The mobile, you can get up to 100 points per day but using the mobile app, but that's a bigger pain in the ass. I can see someone getting 12 months of Xbox Live Gold, currently at 21,000 points. Probably in about four and a half, five months. It's going to probably keep taking me, no, no about, yeah, about, if you do everything, about four months. Right now, it's probably going to take me about five months every time. I'm just being honest with myself, to get 12 months of Xbox Live Gold, and I'm going to be using the rest of it to get more Xbox Game Pass. Granted, there's a lot of other things. There's Starbucks cards or GameStop cards. You can get Hulu memberships. I just don't believe that they're worth it as much. Like, even this at a low value. Three months of Xbox Game Pass, that's 30 bucks, technically. So that's what I would recommend. But that is the guide. Now, the reason why I like this also is because there's no referrals. You can do referrals in Microsoft Rewards, but you only get points. You only get 500 points per user once they get to level two. So it's not that much. So I don't harp on anybody to make a referral. It's just not, it doesn't seem worth it. I mean, if you have a ton of friends, I suppose, if you end up referring 100 friends, that's 50,000 points, but they, you'd have to assume they're actually going to do the searches to get to level two. I think it's a easy slam dunk. It's, an e it's a very simple thing to do. So I've been doing it for years. The only negative that I've seen is them taking off the year of Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> that was not, that was not nice. I'm glad I redeemed it once, but otherwise, I mean, there's so many options. Like here's a that one from earlier. I'm gonna click on it. Hey, look, ten points, done. So, I said I average between, hmm, I would say four and between four and six thousand a month, depending on how diligent I am about using the mobile search. But right now with this new streak thing that they have. I'm happy to say that I'll be able to get to it even faster because I'm hoping, my hope, is that doing all this 
consistently I can continue my Xbox Live Gold, that's going to be easy, but I would like to also keep an Xbox Live Game Pass subscription active for the entirety of however long this damn program lasts. So, here's something that's the case. Uh, if you have any questions, feel, feel free to contact Jorge at cashboner.com. That's J O R G E at cashboner.com. I don't want you to ever pay for Xbox Live Gold. It sucks enough to have to pay to play online when you're on a console. So, doing this, you can get it for free. Remember, don't get boned. Get boning. I'll be back later on with some more stuff. Thinking of doing a Microsoft and Xbox Rewards video, which uh, I've been dreading that a bit because it's, it's, it's kind of complicated even for me. And I do a lot of point stacking and just uh, double dipping, but as you'll see later on. Another thing is that this is, I'm just starting with this using OBS. I'm learning as I go, so I'm hoping to increase the quality of everything as we progress here. Using a HyperX Cloud 2 microphone. Uh, later on, if I get a USB one, hopefully I can learn more about editing. This is very basic, I know, but bear with us a cash boner. We're using the least amount of money to get this out so you can save some money and will increase as we progress. So thanks again. More detail article on cashmoney.com will be linked on the description. Get boating.